Okay, so in today's episode, we're going to cover anything that has to do with earthquake or poison. So the concept's very similar, where at the end of the round, all your minions will take two damage, and there's just different ways to play around it. So the first way is if fire is available, and there's a little bit of mana, you definitely want to pick a Yoden, because you you definitely just want blast to spread that damage as much as possible. So by picking a Yoden in a situation like that, you're basically saying. I'm going to take my 2 damage and that's okay because I'm going to just do enough damage and enough shared damage that by the end of the first round, 80% of his team is gone just from shared damage and taking 2 damage extra. The other thing is if it's Earthquake, Fire has quite a bit of ranged flying minions. So just off the top of my head, there's that little uh, like Fire Imp as well as obviously the Flame Spark. So really good fire cards that have flying already, so they won't take the damage, plus they'll get the plus one from the arteries, plus you give all your minions plus one HP, and then you just share the blast damage. So Yoden's a really good pick, even if it's also in the fire and the flames. So if you've got to deal with poison or you've got to do with earthquake, Yoden's a really good choice just to get that two extra shared damage as a bonus. And then if they are flying minions and they're avoiding the earthquake damage, Typically, flying minions are very, very weak and have low HP. If it's water, you could honestly consider a Vera. So I never knew this, and I always considered her super unviable, but I do own a level 3 one of her. And so Snare's obviously not the best, but what it's really good at is if a monster has flying, Snare, it doesn't matter what their dodge is or if they're flying... Snare basically gives a hundred percent hit rate. So if you, if I have snare and your monster's flying, my monster will always hit you. So you can always put some big beefy water tanks. And if you do play water, you can play some stuff like water elemental, uh, sea monster, a whole bunch of really good cards to combo with the snare to destroy any flying minions, as well as just the fact that if it's poison. You've got these monsters that can soak up all the damage. Uh, this is really good uh, in terms of anything. A Sacred Llama is so, so strong. It gives you that extra HP. It gives you, if your Flesh Golem or your Hydra or your Kron is the last minion, it gives them the last stand. So as we mentioned already and we've seen from our guide, Earth is already the best monsters for just general HP and then on top of that having cleanse to remove poison from position one and having all the self-healing and team healing of earth so if earth's available I highly recommend the sacred llama if life's available uh, chances is obviously the, the best pick because it's got the backline heal and if there's poison or if it's earthquake, there will always be somebody in the back line that has taken some damage. So you always want to pick that. If it's death, typically I'd just go Cryptmancer for that extra negative one HP. So a nice combo that you can do is you go Cryptmancer, Cryptmancer, so that's negative one HP. And then you put the... Oh, what's that monster called? The one with Redemption. I'll put the photo up here right now. Then you put the, the monster with redemption in position one. And then by the end of the first round, they would have taken negative one from Cryptmancer, negative one from redemption, and then negative two from poison or earthquake. So all monsters on the enemy team would already take four damage. So if they've got lots of little monsters, they will all die. If they got one big one, then you've still got to deal with that, to be honest. But yeah, it's a really cool, quick board clear. In terms of the dragon summoners, the number one for Earthquake, and the one that I always use, is a Bright and Bloom. I think she's highly, highly underrated. You pick her, and your win rate will always be super high. I think when I did my season, like, when I do my report card at the end of each season, my best win rate is Earthquake, because I just play a Bright and Bloom. And, yeah, you play your Bright and Bloom, and then if you can, you pair that up in Earth, and then you put in your Flesh Golems and your Kron, so you still got that extra healing. Uh, you add in a few of the snare range cards, such as the headhunter 
and you're in for a really good time. So I'm going to show you some games now of me playing. I'm going to see if I can find them, but I think it should be a good experience regardless. Okay, so in this battle it's Blast and Poison, which is a bit unique. So I went my Llama, and then two tanks, so that way he'll blast through these two quite quickly. And then these two will be the main source, they'll both just heal each other. And then this is at the back, purely to die. Maybe it does a bit of a half in, which would be great. If not, it just dies and gives extra redemption, so just something in the back. And yeah. As you can see, that's really cool. It's a really nice unit, actually. Okay, that's round one. His dragons are nearly dead, and these are nowhere near dead, so we're in a really, really good spot. Like, once that dies, it's over. Cool. And yeah, that's how you play Poison. This is an Earthquake game that I'm playing on SL Guides, which is a really low level account <laughs> that plays in gold. So even some of my epics and rares are level 1s. I've got some that are level 4, level 1, level 1. But in general, I'm pretty low level. So it's an Earthquake game and it's Equalizer. So I put in a few flying. I played a snare summoner so that there's a hundred percent hit rate and then some good damage minions and then one minion to sustain and we should win this Oops. Do, do, do. <sighs> what's happening What oh, poison does? Ah, uh, we just gotta kill this and we win. Which we should do, so we win. So please like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what you want me to do next. And if you're a new player, please use the promo code and I'll happily send you the 0.5 US dollars back to you. It just lets me know that people are watching and using the promo and I'm helping new players join the community. Also, if you find me on the Discord, just pop me a message. I'll happily delegate any of the new players some power.